And now, we'd like to feature... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Red Hot Underdogs. I am Anzac and with me tonight is the ever incredible, long contained, often imitated and never duplicated. Please put your hands together. It's the one and only Drewy. Hey, uh, how are we? How is everyone? Oh, I've just come off a, a bit of a cold, <clears throat> you know. Um, but what's good about when you're sick at home is uh, yeah. being able to watch a bit of rugby league. Yeah, and, absolutely. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm back at it, I guess. Um, <clears throat> last yeah. Sunday when I saw you, I was getting sick and I went downhill, and now mm. come up. Um, yeah. And um, how good's Manly to start it off? It's good. Right? It's uh, there's actually quite a bit to talk about this round. Before yeah. I get before we get into anything, mm. just a quick thing. I don't want to get too political or emotional or anything. Just oh, yep. Anzac round. Oh, yep. So just, pay, yep. just pay our respects to all pay the fallen respects. soldiers and everyone yep. that gave us our freedoms. Yep, I took so, JJ to the, um, uh, it, not the dawn service, the evening yeah. service at Collaroy. It was, yeah. it was yeah. nice. saves getting Yeah, up. I went to the Manly yeah. Dam one. Yeah. Oh, the, the, the dawn one. Yeah, so yep. lest we forget for those who gave us our freedoms. Yeah, so no, it's, it's a... It's a good, um, it's a good weekend for sport, um, yeah, and, and that's something that we should talk about too a bit. We we touched on it a bit, Joey, but um, mm. uh, do you want to start there about the whole Anzac Day in sport? Um, yeah, we we can we can start there. Start there. On yeah, particular games. Um, so it was always how about you, you know yeah. I lived in Wodonga, Aubrey, Wodonga, mm. and. Mm. Um, the the biggest you know sport down there is Aussie rules. It's all Aussie rules, yes. and the Anzac yes. Day match, Essendon versus yes. Collingwood, is as yes. big as, if not bigger than a grand final. Especially oh, you know my Grovesy, my mate, it's massive. And it's, it's massive. It yeah. really is massive. massive. And to tell yeah. the truth, at that time, I didn't mm. even know there was special rugby league grand. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I know there there is and there was, but mm. like, I was a rugby league fan. It just kind of it 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 wasn't as huge. It wasn't as a, a event, and and I saw that too, Drewy, um, going overseas. When I went overseas to um, lived in London and Edinburgh, I really noticed that Anzac Day there, all the Aussies would just hit the pubs and get yeah. drunk on Anzac Day, like most people yeah. do here as well. Um, yeah. but the difference is, um, it was all about the, uh, the AFL there too, like internationally, you know, mm. so, mm. so most people, the biggest event on Anzac day is not rugby league. It's not the warriors and the, well, they, you know, they usually have it warriors, yeah. Melbourne, yeah. Don't they? but they had it warriors. Yeah. Different this year. Yeah, it's hey, and that was, uh, the AFL, like you say, uh, that is, is probably the second biggest game of AFL of the year is the Anzac one. Yeah. And what is funny about that is yeah. that no, it is. In yeah. our last our in our last episode, we actually talked about draws in AFL and no yeah. extra time and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. What do you think happened on Anzac Day? Draw. Yeah. As a draw. So 85 all. What's rare? What's rarer? The draws in rugby league or draw, draws in Aussie rules? Oh, in Aussie rules, a hundred percent. Because you wow. get a whole lot of collection of uh, yeah. behinds. Like and they keep more, goals, more points. But... That's why. That's why. Yeah, a lot more points, and you often find that when they fumble the ball through for a behind or kick a behind. They're the little contributing factors that often lead to a collection of draws and push yeah. it more in the favour of having a draw more mm -hmm. than anything over the period of time. That collectively with what you said of kicking goals. Just more so, goals. Yeah. More yeah. goals, less chance of a... Because what, what's the average score? It's, it's mm. you know, on its way to 100, while rugby league, it's it's 25 or something, you know? So no, no one leaves with, with a loss there. So it's... It's shaping up interestingly there, and the Cats are still undefeated. Yep. 
uh, yeah. leading the top. And Greater Western Sydney had a win. Yep. And yes. yep. Sydney, as we speak, still have to play this afternoon. So, yeah, the AFL's in a pretty good spot. And, yeah, 85 all on the Anzac Day one. Yeah. But uh, yeah. so the, so the one the, – sorry, the, you go. The Anzac Day, the, oh, the Aussie Rules Anzac Day match – is the second biggest thing apart from the grand final. Um, but it's 100%. not the case in rugby league, probably because no. rugby union, sorry, not your rugby the the, um, the the state of origin, probably because yeah. of, I don't know, it's it just it just doesn't seem like comparative no, what, as big, you know? Yeah, because we've got the state of origin, that's the second biggest thing. So what it is, is I don't think rugby league, supporters in general or the NRL itself mm. are really too concerned with it being a massive event or not. Mm. What it is is basically just a special event within yep. the calendar yep. and yep. it is what it is on the tin. Yeah. But yep. I tell on you what. On the Anzac Biscuit tin. On the Anzac Biscuit tin. And I tell you what, my mate Desi. Desi. The Titans did it for <laughs> Desi. Yeah. Yeah, we're now I'm going to claim yeah. a partial credit here. Oh, yeah, last okay. episode. I'll give it to you. Re- yep. yep. Remember? Yeah. So I, I said I think the Warriors will win, but I did say the Titans are a live, live outside chance. They, they are, are a large uh, dog. Yeah, they're they're beyond. They're a strong chance. They're a great team. They they played well and against they, Manly. They played great against yeah. the Warriors and. I want yeah. I want them to win just because I wanted this to keep going, but they've won now. They've got that money yes. back off off their back. <laughs> and, um, I'm all happy for you're this, a, you know. You're a cold hearted bastard. No, no, I'm you, not. I'm you happy wanted those them. stats just to keep going for poor yeah, I did, I did. But when they won, I felt happy for him. Do you know what I mean, Joey? You, you know. Yeah, yeah I, I'm sure you did, but I know deep down inside you were like a bunch of witches cackling over a cauldron. Yeah, you wanted also, him to get to 700 days without a win. Also, or go I, through the whole season. It, yeah, yeah. Let me just say too, I'm really yeah. despising the Warriors after they stole mm. a point from Manly because I really like. I, I know, sure, get over it. It's been a few weeks now, but yeah. They should not have, um, <laughs> and um, that was just dirty cheating. The dirty Kiwis, dirty cheating, don't deserve it. So that made me happy too that the Titans beat them on Anzac Day over there. Um, uh, yeah, over there. Yeah, but, I mean, I, I do love it that yeah, you're, you're still entwined in that result. Like the yeah. caravan has left, but the dog is still barking. Oh, it just pisses me off. They didn't deserve. I, uh, I didn't deserve it. Nah, no. Well, that's I, I guess that's it. But apart from anything, mm. at least Des can now have a good night's sleep for a yep. while because oh, he's had a few nights sleep now. Yeah. It yeah. and and it takes a bit more pressure off him. Yeah. So and and puts the firing line back on the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Yep. So yeah, well, you know, we'll coming dead last. And that makes me happy. Right I, w- I would rather last. the bunnies be dead last. Yeah, than yeah, the yeah, yeah. Much rather. Yeah. Well, we we will get to Manly. I actually wouldn't <laughs> mind talking about South. Yeah. They That's lost nice. fifty four points to twenty. Yeah, they got spanked. You know, I call it, someone uh, saying they did all right, but they didn't do all right at all. They looked shit. You know. No. And and they got that. Oh, remember that very last play that was like. 30 seconds or not even 30 seconds to go. And they called it a cannonball tackle. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bunny's guy what? came in, you know, he was, the, the, you know, who the guy on the wing, the Melbourne. Yeah, Scott, Tane, he, Tane Milne came in and did a cannonball. That yep. was basic just frustration. Frustration. They're losing, I they're do getting that. smashed. 30 Nothing seconds happened. before you lose 50 something nil or 50 something to 20. Well, why? Just mentally, emotionally, spiritually, that's just yep. where they're at at the moment. And unfortunately, I'm I'm going to say it here. Mm. I think Demetrio has 
Holt has run out of time. Yeah. I'm actually going to make a prediction. Mm, I don't yeah. like seeing people lose their job. Yep. I don't think that he'll have a job next week, next, next week. round. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm, cool. I'm making a big, bold prediction. I'm hanging my balls on the line right now. Uh, because guess what they've got next week? The Panthers. Yeah, they're going to get well, smashed. Let's just add a whole lot more bullshit to this mm. terrible situation that we're in as far as Souths are concerned, if you're a South supporter. Mm. Although I've got to say there was one moment, if I'm a South supporter, I'm incredibly disappointed because so at the post-fight press conference, they were asking Jason Demetrio all these questions. Did you say and it's post, becoming harder. Post fight press conference? No, not post fight. Sorry, <laughs> post match. Why? Well, thank you. You're, you're my uh, you're my pit crew. Thank you for catching me up. Hey, good to see you listening. No, no that's yeah, I'm, not, good. I'm listening. Thank I'm not the only one. Thank, 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 thank you for uh, picking me up. But yeah, in the post match press conference, they had. Demetrio answering all these questions of negativity about how the pub's going, and rightly so. And unfortunately, it can't just be him bearing the brunt of the problems. I'm going to say it now. South have probably the worst choice of captain in the entire league. Mm. They've got Cameron Murray as the captain. Good player. You'd have him in your team every day of the week. Mm. No drama whatsoever. Mm. So Murray is a quiet person as it is, which isn't great if you're going to have a captain. Yeah. Near the end of the conference, they had a reporter ask a question and it had been Demetrio speaking the whole time. Finally, one was asked to Cameron Murray and they said, Cameron, do you have anything to add from the player's perspective or do you see... Things the same way as the coach. Keep talking, one second. And he answered with a four-word answer. Yep, the same way. I'm sorry, but as a... If I was a South supporter, I don't want to hear my captain saying, yep, the same way. You've got to have some sort of form of accountability. You can't just sit there like a puppet and just say, yep, the same way. Look, as, look who's as a, Hello. I'm enjoying this conversation. How are you going, buddy? Good. That's the way, champ. Uh, Drew, I'm going to nice let you guess them. what sport. Yep. I'm sorry, I was really enjoying that, but... Just no, that's okay. Just want to come say hello to Ariana. Hey, there she is. Hey, is hello. Hi, Drew. Hi. Um, I'm going to let Drew guess what sport JJ and I went to see yesterday. What? And we'll give you clues. you got to get it. What It'll be something netball? obscure. Netball. Wasn't netball. <laughs> Basketball. Basketball, no. More obscure, more obscure. Darts. Darts, no. Yeah. What was it? I wouldn't mind. We could be here all day. Okay. Tell me. It starts with E. E? No, it doesn't. E. Okay, I'll give you a clue. Good. There's people that go round and round a track. Equestrian? No. No. Oh, and they're wearing something unique. And Eddie spins. And they spin. And it has wheels. Wheels. There's a clue. He's good at clues, yeah? He's good at clues. I'm look, I'm clueless. Can okay, look at this hat. Oh, uh, okay. Can you read I can't that? See it. My eyes are shot and you're on the small screen. <laughs> okay, says, beautiful. It says Maitland Roller Derby. Yeah. What? Okay. We went to Fair the Roller Derby, Drewy, and that's good. My sister Georgia said, "Do you want to come to the Roller Derby?" And I'm like, "Sure, I want to come to the Roller Derby. Don't touch that again." Um, yeah. So we went to the Roller Derby. What? Okay. What a unique sport. 
mate, you're going to have to go. Can you go through? Because I'm doing a conversation or you're going to be a good boy. Okay. He, he can but, stay. If yeah, he's yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. The roller derby. Oh, that's good, yeah. man. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the roller the derby. So I'm, I'm glad you, I'm glad you enjoyed the roller derby. That was good. Yeah, it's um, it's it's pretty a lot, fun. A lot more enjoyable, a lot more enjoyable than being a South supporter. A lot more enjoyable. Yeah, and yeah, it had yeah, um, yeah. we watched um Northern Beaches against the Inner West, and it's all girls, mm. and and they have yeah. to get around a track, and they get certain points if they can make it around, uh, and the yeah. other. Of, you know, not oh, very good. Over. Bash and yeah. barge. Oh, it sounds like you had a good day. Had by all. Okay. No, you can't. I'm going to have Excellent. to get rid of this boy, I think, Drewy. Yeah. No are problem. Gonna, That's all right. Away? Okay. You can be silent. Let's That's see. all good. So, yeah. Roll oh, it. It's good. You had a great day. And Manly had a win. Let's talk about Manly. We haven't even talked about Manly. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, Take I us I'm through the game. Non, I'm a bit nonplussed about our win. Mm. So, Parramatta were ahead 14 6 at half time. Yeah. Yep. Manly actually won the second half 26 to 4. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and there was a couple but, of disallowed tries as well, you know, that. There, <laughs> there, there were a number of incidents within the game. Yep. So, for. South, you had Ola, you had uh, Simonson and Sivo both sent to the sin bin, and for Manly you had Ola Kawatu, and it was just uh, one of those odd games. But as a Manly supporter, I'm not getting too carried away because Parramatta played with essentially a man down for. 20 minutes of the game and we only won by 14 plenty of injuries or not not plenty of injuries it was um plenty of incidents uh so three thin bins in all but i'm i'm not overly wrapped if i'm a manly supporter it was good to get a win so did uh, did, did that actually have a lot of Jerry Evans has been like he's lost, he's not playing in the next two games. Is he going to appeal? What do you know about this? Well, here's here's the here's the situation. So, Cherry Evans and Hamoli Olakawatu both did a tackle on Sean Lane, I believe it was for the Eels, and it was and early too, wasn't it? Was that the first? It was in the first yeah. half. In the yeah. first half, and. Unfortunately, what's happening now is that both of them are getting not even charged by the judiciary. They've both been sentenced to two games on mm. the sideline. Mm. So what happens is they'll then file an early guilty plea if they want to. Like, And so they'll essentially accept the two games. They can, if they want, be represented legally to fight the charge which is a bad idea because if they fight the charge and lose, they get three matches on the sideline. Mm. Obviously, if they fight the charge and win, they get off, but it's not worth the risk. Mm. The fact that they're going to give you three weeks if you fight and lose is pretty much telling you, hey, don't fight this, accept your medicine. Did Kerry do the lifting? I don't think he did. He was part of the tackle, but he didn't lift those legs, right? Well, no, he, he had... His leg behind Sean Lane's legs. Mm. And Ola Kawatu flung Sean Lane over and mm. unfortunately Lane ended up in a terrible position at the end. Yeah. It was like a heat of the battle situation. The thing that I the thing I'm a bit perplexed about is so with about twelve minutes to go, the eels pretty much handed Manly the game. Yeah, because by that stage it was twenty to eighteen. Yeah, yeah, and they got and then a um, Mike Acevo, Cherry, yeah, Mike Acevo with the the elbow and the forearm, uh, like Ruben after Garrett's the tackle, head. like there was a tackle after the it tackle, was over, yeah, and then elbow in the head on Cherry, and he did that, yes. and and you were just like, why would you twice, do that? yeah, twice, why, why? and, and the, the the thing is, he uh. He's only getting a $3,000 fine. 
Yeah, wow. He's not even getting Perry, Perry's losing two matches. And Olakowatu. And Olakowatu. That, that doesn't both make sense. Them. Yeah. Well, they're both involved in the tackle. That's what they're saying. We're going to lose our best forward and essentially our best back. Yeah. Um, and for two weeks each. Yep. Both of them for two right. weeks. So that, that's a big blow. Manly played both Canberra and the Dolphins in the next yep. two weeks. Yep. So they're not two of the greatest, greatest sides, but they're both <coughs> formidable. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to you don't want to be losing two players of that caliber to anyone. Mm. So unfortunately it was a win soured by Ah, uh, an unfortunate incident. Mm. Yeah. And, yeah, good to get away with the win. Uh, I think Manly can thank Mike Acevo a lot yeah. because that game, I don't care what anyone said, it was completely in the balance at that point in time. Yeah, it definitely was. And that, that was just the last it's... 10 minutes and it was against 12 men. Mm. Manly had that. Mm. It just seemed yeah. as it just gave us that, that um, momentum to finish it off strong. Yeah, yeah. And another game, the Roosters, I don't know what was up with Anzac Day, but mm. yeah, 60 to 18. Wow. Against the Dragons. Uh, the funny, the Roosters are a funny side, you know, like they should do so much better so often. They've got a team of rock stars, but quite often they play like pop stars. So mm. I won't talk too much about the Roosters, but. When they put it all together, they are almost an unstoppable force. But you just don't see it that often, given the calibre of talent that they've actually got in the side. Mm. So it's a little know, bit in the in the bunnies bucket. Like bunnies have some great players. Uh, oh yeah, and and yeah. they're coming last. Um, well, yeah, but, you know, at least roosters can get their shit together. But bunnies. Yeah, not. I mean, and that's you're right, and that that's the problem with South. That's why everyone's so down on them, is because their roster is actually really good. Mm. But unfortunately, at the moment, they're like a calculator without an equals button. They mm. just got no answers. Mm. You know, they're trying, and I, yeah, I, 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 I don't know where I don't know where you go if you're South, but. Mm. Uh, it it was kind of funny in that you go to Wooden Spoonlands. Uh, that's where you go. Yeah, well, it could be. Yeah, it I could. So. But you never know. Wouldn't that be a story? Honestly, yeah. great story. It's, because I'll tell you, before the start of this season, if somebody said name your top eight, I would have had five teams in there for certain. Mm. The five teams I definitely would have mentioned would have been the Broncos, the Panthers, the Roosters, the Storm, and Souths. Mm. And I definitely would have had Souths in there. And then the rest I would have gone, well, the next three could be anyone. Mm. But I would have had Souths locked into that top five. But, oh, they've been a disaster. Mm. Uh, and it, I, I just can't imagine how frustrating it is for mm. for their supporters. And then a few sides that, that have been disappointing this year, one that people don't often mention is the Knights. Mm. They've been massively disappointing and they've lost their best player, Kalen Ponga, to roughly round 19. Mm. So, and, and for a side that won 10 straight last year. Yeah. They're looking like they could uh, miss the semis. So yeah, they they will. It's really, yeah, it's been it's been a competition of surprises. Speaking of it's, semis, um, and it's not the uh, sport that we talk about much, but the A League. Yeah, uh, the semis are about to start, and um, I've. I've followed, when I say followed, I've uh, kept an eye on the Western Sydney Wanderers for a few years, for a few reasons. I've, I've met a few mm. players over the years. And um, actually, uh, I'm, I'm sure I told you this, Drewy, I, I had in my English class, I taught 
the captain of the Western Sydney Wanderers. Did I ever tell you that? Yes, you did. Yeah, a long time ago. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was a few years ago. I think roughly from what I remember you saying, he where was he from? Spain, Spain or Argentina? Dimas from so, Spain, yeah. So he was a Spanish guy, and I think his name was Dimas Delgado from yeah, what I remember. It. So, yeah. so he, he played for Barcelona yeah. B or C. Actually, I think it was C. Yeah. So mm. came to Australia and was the captain of, you know, our highest league, which shows that comparison. Yeah. And yeah, um, yeah. and it was it was quite cool. Like he was a cool guy. I've lost contact with him. Yeah. We went to the yeah, cricket yeah. together as well. I said, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, but I kind of went for the Wanderers before then, just because. Mm. Um, oh, I think they were just perceived as the bad guys, and they, they were, were definitely they were. the bad guys yeah. in the A League. Yeah. Just with all this recent controversy, was it flares? Was it? Yeah, yeah. idiots and sponsors not yeah, what yeah, you can yeah. do with them and this and that so they're they're under that bus um and mm. were and i thought oh, okay i'll keep an eye on the score and last yeah. night i i saw they were two nil down they're gone yeah didn't watch it then i saw it was two all and then i thought okay i'll watch a little bit you know and then you know the other team melbourne scored a goal and i thought oh, i'm not going to watch any more of this and yeah, and lo and behold, I saw that they scored another goal. So it was mm. three all, and then it was three four. That's the most amount of goals that's been scored in any soccer game in the history of soccer. Three four so, three. Um, so they've won it, and it means they'll get into the um the finals if um okay. if if. Melbourne, what's that new team in Melbourne? Western United, Melbourne Western United. Yeah, yeah, Western United. Other, yeah, beat the other team. <clears throat> so I, I hope they do it because I want them to, you know, ruin the party, the Western Sydney Wanderers. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm absolutely hopeless when talking about soccer. If you ask me who's where and what's happening <laughs> and who's playing who on the table. I got absolutely no idea. Yeah, I don't know too, but, but I feel we uh, should talk about it a little bit. It is good, yeah, David, yeah. You know, and and people and can Sydney's throw in tomatoes it, at the screen and going, look at these casuals. They got no idea. No, nah, we got Guilty no idea. Is freaking charged. Guilty yeah. is charged. As long as but, we you know, admit, we got no idea. Oh, absolutely. You, you know, know. well, I've, so, I've seen two um two or three Wanderers games this year. Um, yeah, just because of the boy. Uh, you know, it's yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the great stadium there in Parramatta. Uh, it's great. It's a good game. It's boring as hell, but it's great for kids. You know. It's, oh look, you know, but there. it's okay. It's okay for us to say it's boring. We don't particularly like it, but guess no. what? The yeah. end of the day, it's the world game. Yeah, and we are heavily outnumbered by people who love it. Yeah. So it it really can't be that bad of a game. No, it can. It can be that bad of a game, and it is. No, that bad of a game. I, I, you know, millions upon millions of people don't lie, or maybe well, they well, do. I'm not saying <laughs> they lie. I'm just saying <laughs> they're wrong. You know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just because it, mm. because soccer yes. is the world game mm. doesn't mean yeah. it's a good game. Doesn't mean yeah. it's an exciting game. Doesn't mean mm. it's it's um, interesting because it's not. It's boring. It's it's slow, it's frustrating to watch, but it is the international game. Whether hey, you I, or not. I I don't want to rubbish your mate from a few years ago, but didn't that didn't they make him captain and then he ended up in reserve grade by the end of the season? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I think so. I think that was the narrative. Oh. But I'm I'm not gonna crap on the guy because to play at that level. Yeah, it's a good achievement. Great achievement. I mean, most of us never achieve anything. I'm still dining out on winning the egg and spoon race in 1985 when I was eight years old. It was a great race that you you won by two lengths. I remember. Unfor unfortunately, the trophy cabinet and achievement cabinet ever since has been pretty bare, extremely yeah. bare. Yep. It's actually been more bare than the comments section in the Red Hot Underdogs podcast. Yeah. <laughs> now that's no. fair. 
Yeah, that's right. Yeah, absolutely. hundred <laughs> percent. Oh, mate. But, uh, so there you good. go. Any other sports? Yep. So we, we did rugby league. We did soccer. We did roller derby. We did for fun. brief Perry. Not, not really. What? But, and what I will say, though, in the NRL, I was going to say, if there are three teams at the moment, that you'd want to be a supporter of who are playing really good football. To me, the three best ones are the Broncos, the Panthers, and the Storm. And I know Cronulla are right up there on the list, but those three to me are looking the best. And, uh, yeah, but there's there's plenty of sport going on and uh, plenty more to be had. And... For any Aussies, watch out for cruiserweight sensation Jai Opatia fighting on the Fury Usyk undercard. Oh, great! On May eighteenth, fighting for a title. Okay, he didn't come with the big name of Tim Zhu, but I was saying this long before Tim Zhu even lost. Australia's best boxer. The guy is sensational. Okay, when's that? What date? Ah. Uh, May 18th, but it might be May 19th over here because oh, yeah. of okay. we're, we're we'll a day ahead. That. We'll be watching that and talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's actually won the world title before, but he was stripped because he was due to fight the person he won it off, who he's fighting again. So he's already beaten this guy once. What weight to division are we talking about here? Cruiserweight, one, one below heavyweight. Oh, Jesus. Wow, that's exciting. So, so he's right up there. So, so what's, and, the, what's the name? Tell us a little bit more about this bloke. Jai Opatia. He's Jesus, originally he's from... He rhymes. The, that's a good thing. He's, he's from yeah. the Central Coast. Oh, yeah. He actually he won the belt off uh, Bradis, mm. who is uh, Maris Bradis, who is, I believe, a Croatian. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I might be slightly wrong with that one, but he won it off Maris Bradis, who is, you know, a well-renowned champion at cruiserweight for a very long time, who held the belt for a very long time. And he did win the belt off him, and then he was due to fight him again, but Bradis got injured. And mm -hmm. Jaya Pattaya said, well, I don't want to wait on him because I want to I want to stay active. Yeah. And they stripped him for fighting again. Oh. and Jai up a tie well, what do you want me to do? Sit around and wait for a year for this guy? Bugger that. Yeah. So he got the belt stripped stupidly because of politics of boxing. Huh. But now he's going to fight for it again. Okay. But I like that attitude. I'm not yeah. waiting for anyone. Yeah, good. Hold no prisoners. Hold no they, bars. They should, I'm, I'm coming after all the rules. smoke. Like, and, you know. unless, yeah. unless your opponent is, is, is capable of fighting, mm. you should be able to keep active and not lose a belt. Yeah, I, but I, I love the attitude there. Mm. Like, stay active, stay strong, steel sharp and steel. And uh, very explosive, good knockout power, mm, wow. strong, got a, got a great heart, a great fighting heart. When he won the belt, he had his jaw broken in the third round and won, on, and won on points. Yeah, wow. In a twelve-round fight, like yeah. that's the kind of guy a country can get behind. Jesus, well, he wouldn't have eaten uh, steak that night. He would have just been on the mashed potatoes and the, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> the soggy. Whip. And 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 the and the post-fight press conference was very limited. He wanted yeah. to talk, he literally was holding up conversation cards. <laughs> <laughs> just thumbs up. He, yeah, he, he, he no. apologised and groaned to the camera, apologised, I've got a broken jaw. <laughs> yeah. But no, he's oh, Okay, he's, well, he's we'll watch back. that for sure. Yeah, um, 100%. Yeah. And that, that it's a great undercard fight. And then, obviously, after that, you got Fury and Orsic for all the belts. Yeah, exciting. Every single one. So, yeah, and, definitely and you want to watch win. that one. I'd like to see Fury win. Yeah, I just too. like him. I find him relatable. He's a character. He's got personality, charisma, got a good comeback story. Do you think most people are going for Fury? 
it's divided. Mm. A lot of people are going for all sick. Uh, a lot of people are sick of Fury's antics. Fury isn't everybody's cup of tea. Mm. That's the situation. Yeah, yeah. So we'll just to see how that goes. Well, um, remember he turned up at one press fight conference dressed as Batman? Yeah, 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 against Vladimir Klitschko. Yeah, years so ago. is he going to dress up as Spider-Man or uh, Superman and any others? What do you reckon? I don't think so for this fight. I think he's thoroughly down. I think he's thoroughly locked in. Yeah. Okay. He just wants to win all of these belts. Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So all good. All right. Well, no. another all minute right. to go, but let's just call it there, cuz. Absolutely. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Great Everyone episode. have a good week. Yeah. And stay an underdog. Stay the underdog. Beautiful. Thanks, mate. See you, mate.